Hi everybody. Um, I just wanted to uh, give you a brief overview of the uh, WFD30 uh, Wi-Fi system that I've got uh, attached to my uh, NCE PH Pro uh, 5 amp system. So without further ado, we'll get into it. This is the WFD30. It's attached with a coiled cable down to my UTP panel, uh, and then it's con that connects it down to my uh, NCE uh, command station over here. So the power button or light shows red. The blinking green is communications, Wi-Fi communications, and and the blue says it's uh, it's connected up to the uh, command station. Uh, I'm filming this video with my iPhone 11, but I've got the Y controller set up here on my iPhone iPhone 6, my my older one. And right now I've got it hooked into. This is going to be difficult because I'm only one-handed here. Uh, let me put something to cover the track. Okay. Sorry, it's, it's it's just difficult. I don't have anybody to help me. So I'm gonna with the light button. It's there. I just turn the light out. If I hit it again. The light will come on. There's the bell, which is function one here. F2 is the horn. F3 is another, ver another version of the horn. Uh, this one, and I gotta need to get down at nine if I can get scroll down. That's, that's the road crossing. So, but anyway, uh, what I'm going to do, hopefully, uh, is I'll, I'll try to show you how, how this thing works. So, hopefully the engine won't stall. Never can tell. Dirty track, as always. So it is accelerating. I mean, that's faster than, than normal. And then we'll put it into reverse. Like I said, this is pretty difficult doing this one-handed. You can also hit stop, and she'll stop immediately. So, now this is, and I have the same controls on this iPhone 11. Of course, it's longer so that F9 function was was showing, but uh, uh, I, I find it to be pretty, pretty responsive. Um, I have had this system, this system here, on the other side of the layout, uh, I left it here where, where, I, where I have it now, and it was very effective working way over there on the other side of the layout, even from this uh, low position. So, I, I mean, I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, it gives me another option so uh, I, can, I can walk around without having to keep plugging in uh, all my hammerheads. As you can see, I got, I got a bunch of those. In fact, I have five of them all together. Um, and I did have the problem with the, one of the uh, UTP panels that had a, had a bad plug in it. So 
and I'm going to be testing all of them because I, st I still have an issue somewheres in my wiring. Um, so, but anyway, that that's doesn't affect this. But this is uh, Y throttle. Uh, they do have another version that will work with uh, Android phones, and I can't. It's like Train Master or something like that. Um, but uh, if you look on the uh, Wi-Fi tracks, W-I-F-I-T-R-A-X uh, dot com, and uh, they are a manufacturer uh, in uh, Australia. And uh, right now I found that you can get them at through uh, Iron, Iron Planet Hobbies. They're pretty, to me, they're pretty inexpensive, 109 bucks. So, uh, I, to me, it was pretty easy to look at doing this rather than the radio control, which um, is, you know, several hundred dollars. And uh, I just didn't, didn't want to invest that kind of money into it because, you know, the, it's just more expensive than the, uh, than the wired ones. And I know that there's another system uh, similar to this one that can be used with Digitrax and some of the some of the other systems. Uh, uh, but anyway, if you have Android phones for the, for this particular system that works with the NCEs, you use you can use Y Throttle or uh, whatever they have for the Android phones, and it, and it works. I mean, it's working with the six. This is an 11 that I'm talking to you with, and then I also have it on my iPad here. So. Um, you can use just about anything. The iPad's a little large to walk around with, but uh, I mean this. This is, and, and there's some things you can do with it. As it stalls again on that that one turn out, I guess. <laughs> Just touch in the function keys. It's it's as easy as using the big hammerheads. So, but anyway, um, I mean, it's pretty hard for me. To, I don't have anybody to help me. And uh, if I put it on a tripod, it'd even be worse because it'd go out of out of frame. But but anyway, um, that's how it works. I mean, it's simple. You just plug it in. And uh, it works like it's a uh, another controller. And you can, uh, they did give me some mounting hardware for it to give it a standoff. I'll just have to decide where I want to put it. Uh, I mean, I could leave it where it is. They do, uh, Iron Planet Hobbies does have a protective cover. I could leave it right here. It'll work great in the whole, uh, whole layout. I mean, this is only a 15 by 25 room, so... There should be plenty of room. But anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.